The biggest guard that we're gonna use is a four and a half four guard lever open. And I'm gonna go about three fingers right here. The earlobe is gonna be kind of like our guideline right there. So just to be safe, lever open. And I'm gonna close it and slightly flick up. Slightly flick. We're building out the foundation. Next, I'm just gonna wanna freehand it a little bit so I can blend from the four and a half down to the longer parts of his beard. We're gonna keep everything as full as possible, just giving him that full look. With my pinky right here, I'm gonna place this kind of like a tripod for balance, and I'm just gonna go down, creating that shape. I'm just gonna go around. a little bit of hair so as we don't want to overdo it. I still want to keep that shape. Next step, we're gonna open up our liver and we're gonna start blending now. From the sideburn taper area, we're gonna go slowly down and we're just gonna kind of take a gauge on kind of like the, the thickness of his beard because he does have some light spots here and I just wanna make sure to conserve most of the hair right here on the cheek. Lever open, and go about a finger's width. We can close it now and start blending. Midway now. Three quarters open. All the way open again. And if you guys don't feel comfortable with what you guys got, you guys just repeat the steps. Now we're gonna go in with our one guard, lever open. Anytime you guys open up the lever, it makes the half. This plus this is a one and a half. This was our lever open guideline. Now we're gonna go another finger over here with that one guard lever open. So we're working with this whole area right here. At the start of the line, now I'm gonna close the lever very gently right there. I'm gonna cut a little bit, but this is not gonna fully blend out that line. We're gonna have to keep doing this until it's softened to go in with our half guard on the next step. Now with the half guard. And close it and hit the beginning of that one guard lever open line or the end of the lever open guideline. Gonna go midway now. All the way open. Now the number two, so we got lever open right here, one guard lever open, and everything on top right here, this whole finger is gonna be two guard lever open. You guys notice his beard goes like this, so I'm gonna angle the teeth against the grain. Now the 1.5, we got lever open, 1.5, 2.5 at the start of that line. We're gonna go with the lever closed. So now that we've finished blending everything out, we wanna just go ahead and start lining everything up. I like starting first with the vertical line bars, then working towards the neckline. And if there's any detailing that you guys have to do on the fade of the beard, just leave it for last because in the first pass, it's not gonna be fairly perfect. My goal is just to conserve the vertical line bars and make sure that I don't push anything down because we wanna make sure we keep everything as natural as possible. This is my first point right here. Go ahead and comb. She has that light spot right there. So sometimes some things might not come out super crazy crispy, but we want to make sure we just keep it as natural as possible. I'm 
comb everything down. Now that I lined it up at the neckline, and the fat right here, and placing my middle finger here, I'm just gonna go straight down like this. So once we're done with that, now we're gonna work on the mustache. She likes keeping the mustache nice and thick. So we're not gonna do that much work. We're just gonna go with some clipper over comb right here. I'm gonna go in now with my straight razor. I'm using some Faded Culture blades and the blade holder. David sent for a discount if you guys do purchase anything. So first, I want to gauge his highest point right here, which is gonna be right here at the cheek line. I'm gonna take it at this highest point right here. My first reference point is gonna be right there at the top. Then I'm gonna tilt his head a little bit. I'm gonna start now here at the sideburn area. Now we can see the connection. So we can either go from here to here or start from over there, but I'm just gonna keep it going right here with the natural. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start re-detailing again. So a little straight hairs right there. I'm like gliding through his beard right here. This was the step-by-step -step beard fade tutorial. If you guys enjoy the content, make sure you guys let me know down below in the comment section. This is the final look. This is a taper, a low taper, blended into the beard. 